Good morning, guys. Hope everyone's doing great. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to go over the DAG wallet. Uh, a couple of you guys reached out and asked where you can put your DAG because you're looking to take it off the exchanges. Uh, the price of DAG has gone up probably like two, three times um, since the, the time I've given it to you guys. Uh, and as the value goes up, I always tell you don't leave your coins on the exchanges when the balance gets big. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys where you can put your DAG in two different options. Uh, right now, they don't have a ledger option for us. Uh, so the, the two options that they've given us, I, I've tested both ahead uh, ahead of time, just so you guys can see what they look like. Uh, and I've gone ahead and I've included uh, the website link so you can access the wallets uh, for download directly under this video. Uh, the first wallet that the team offers us is the Stargazer wallet. Um, and this is essentially a, um, a browser extension wallet that you can download and add to Brave Browser or Google Chrome. Uh, it looks like this. I've already downloaded it over here if you guys can see it. Um, and when you open it up, I don't know if it, it will show you on the page. I have it open right here. Uh, it looks just like MetaMask. Uh, the setup for it is the same, just like MetaMask as well. It will either give you 12 or 24 words to set up. You also need to go ahead and set a private password. Uh, and then with that, you will go ahead and have access to your wallet and you can add that browser extension to any browser that you want. Uh, there's no staking features really on that one. Um, not a lot you can really do in there. Uh, the other wallet they offer is more of the cold storage version that they offer. Um, this wallet, the reason it's a little bit more not complicated to set up, uh, but a little bit more complicated to access. Uh, so that's why I compare it to cold storage. You got to go through a little bit more hoops. Um, with this one, the setup, uh, they do not give you the conventional 12 words that you guys are used to. Uh, what they give you for a private key is a JOS file. Um, and what that is, is an encrypted file that has your private key in it, which you need to drag and drop, or you have to um, either browse and load into the wallet manually every time you want to access it. So this is not a wallet that you really can use for on the go, on the move. If you need on the go, on the move quick, you may want to use the Stargazer. Uh, if you just plan on holding DAG and letting it sit for a while, uh, like I do, then this is probably the wallet that you want to use. Um, again, I have sh I've sent some DAG to both of them. Uh, so let me just show you really quick what the other other one looks like really fast. Why can't I get to it? Sorry about that. There we go. There it is. All right. So this is the other DAG wallet. Um, got a little bit of DAG in that one sitting. Uh, interface looks pretty cool. Uh, like I said, there's not a lot you can do in it right now other than send and receive and uh, view and track your transactions. Uh, but again, it's a good place to go ahead and put your DAG. It's safe uh, and it's better than keeping it on the exchanges, in my opinion. Uh, I will keep you guys updated on when staking features roll out for the program, uh, as well as when they offer the ledger connectivity um, and they work out all the little bugs and stuff they're trying to do in the test model right now. I, I don't like joining test models with the ledger. I only do it when it goes live. Uh, but anyways, hopefully that video was helpful. And now you guys have a place to store your DAG. See you guys on the next video.